Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living Homestead. My name is Daniel. And today, I'm, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, when you go solar, when you're going to solar power, why not just stay on DC? I, I have some pros and cons to both, and you'd be surprised how five years ago I would have said one thing, but today I'm going to say something totally different. All right, now, let's, let's talk about this. Uh, AC and DC power. I have to give a brief explanation to AC and DC power. Uh, DC power just has forward. It, it only goes forward. Like if you're driving your car, it, imagine a car didn't have reverse. It only goes forward. Uh, it, AC goes both directions. So you have forward and reverse. So it can go back and forth. You know, that's why, you know, it, you can send it long distances because it's traveling back and forth really quickly. Uh, and actually, it's your light. You can't see it, and uh, and and I personally think I can see it, but it's blinking, you know, like uh, 60 times a second, uh, you know, or something like that, because it's going back and forth. It's running back and forth. Uh, DC just straight on, boom, like a Mack truck. <laughs> now, but anyway, so that's a brief explanation about AC and DC current. Uh, Edison came up with DC current and uh, Tesla came up with AC current and you know uh, I, I admire a lot of Tesla's work so uh, and I admire some of Edison's work so uh, but Tesla I think he was on the right track with with harvesting power just from around us so that's something that I would really like to do uh, but anyway so let's talk about what if when you're going solar why not just stay DC power you know why not just stay DC power you'd save on your inverter you save on uh, you save on a bunch of stuff you know that you wouldn't need if you went to DC power now five years ago I would have said it is not worth it it is not worth it there's not enough I mean the, the everything that you would need you know refrigerator TV you know if you have a TV computer all has to be on DC power so you know and if you you can buy an inverter for the TV or the inverter, I mean, TV or the refrigerator and all that, then you're just going exactly, you're not going DC, you're just going AC. Uh, but DC, using DC directly, and you had a DC refrigerator, you had a DC microwave, whatever, you know, DC freezer, uh, DC TV, automatically, just from the traveling from the solar panels to the uh, to your house you're going to lose 10% of your power uh, compared to AC power automatically AC would send power there to your house and the, the, depending on the distance that you're traveling uh, you're going to lose power and you, the, the further distance you travel the more power you're going to lose because like I said DC only goes one direction I'm going this way <laughs> the heck with everything uh, I don't know how many times uh, well, have you ever felt a battery cable? You know, after you just start a car or something like that, the jumper cables are hot. That's wasted electricity. That's because the DC power just goes straight to it. You know, it's, it's, it's one way. It's uh, omnidirectional. <laughs> it just goes, it just says, I'm heading. You know, so, well, we, we got that uh, pretty much understanding. So anyway, you run everything DC and it's just gonna run one way, straight from your solar panels to a charge controller to the batteries to your house from the batteries to your house straight DC power no matter what you're gonna lose 10% over if you would have converted it to AC power but well there's not really a but there but and <laughs> and the wire size is gonna be so much bigger to get to get the, the DC power to your house you're gonna need larger wire bigger wire because it, it only goes one direction it's not going back and forth supercharging your wire uh, it's just going one direction like like we said so it's going to have to be a big wire that you're running to your house and then when you split it off that DC power split off you're gonna to have to run big wire through your whole house but that's just a one-time expense uh, you buy your refrigerator and all that you know if, if you buy that all uh, technology has gotten so much better that you can actually afford to go all DC with the wire size and all that, and and not you know not 
kill you in far as as far as money but but they don't have as many uh, items available for you for DC as they do AC uh, so I, I don't think the technology is quite there yet but we're getting there we're getting there to to go just DC uh, now AC you know you're gonna have to buy that big old inverter and and I tell everybody everybody buy your inverter once don't don't buy the cheap ones I did it for nine years uh, we we lived off solar uh, see not many people know this but uh, I lived off solar for nine years and then I moved here and lived a, an additional six years on solar when when I started out on solar so the biggest solar panel you get was 65 watts and we had 16 of them it, it was crazy <laughs> it was crazy uh, but we, we we did what we could we that's what we had so that's what we used uh, when you run out of power we ran out of power that, that was just it you know uh, we eventually got a windmill and that helped things out uh, so but anyway uh, I have a lot of experience with with DC power and AC power and I've done a lot of experiments with DC power uh, it is not a, a dead technology uh, when you when you your refrigerator uh, the motor in your refrigerator runs off DC power they actually convert it so they're, they're converting it to AC power and then when it goes to your refrigerator the refrigerator converts it back to DC to run the motor because it's straight it's a straight like the Mack truck <clears throat> you know it's gonna run more efficient so it, it's backwards there ain't it it's it's they they convert it to convert it, convert it back to, to convert it again uh, I know it's complicated but uh, but my suggestion is I don't think we're there yet on on DC power I I would suggest going straight to AC because even though it's going to be expensive to get into your solar and and just buy your inverter once buy your inverter once and buy a good one uh snyder outback uh i can name off a bunch of brands uh then those are uh those are the, the top ones that, that i can think of right this minute but i'll put some put some uh to the side uh that i can't think of right now uh but buy it once buy it once and then you won't have to worry about it again and then you could have all your AC power and everything so because because of the wire size because of the DC power uh, I mean they have LEDs now and you know have you ever felt a, a DC light it's hot you know it used to be but now with the LED lights they're not hot anymore so it, things are changing technology is getting better but I don't think we're there yet I think it, it's still advisable for you to go uh, convert it to AC and send it in your house because you can send it further distances. Your wire size is a lot smaller with AC. You're not going to need that big wire to get in there. You're not going to you're not going to lose that 10% of power that you you're just sending it there. You're losing power, and it's usually lost in heat, and that's not good. You know, in the walls of your house, losing it in heat in the walls of your house. You know, because one day that that wire could get too hot. You know, so but I'm not saying that'll happen or anything like that, and and I'm not even dissing DC. I think we're almost there in technology. Uh, I think things are getting better, and I even seen some videos online where I was really impressed with everything that was run on DC. All right, guys, I hope I was clear enough for y'all that that uh, I'm not dissing DC power. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I think one day there'll be enough technology to, to cheap enough that we can all go DC and not have to convert it to AC. But uh, since we, I think one day the technology will, will catch up to us. And uh, if they keep working on it, and straight DC, uh, without having to go to AC, you know, without having to have ginormous size wire, you know, to go DC. Uh, but that's in the future right so anyway guys so I suggest go AC uh, if you're starting out and it's a lot uh, it'll be a lot cheaper in the long run believe it or not it'd be a lot cheaper to go AC to go from your solar panels to your charge controller to your batteries to an inverter to in your house all right guys I love you 
and I will catch you on the next video. Oni Ove Ocha means I love you, Yubu. Later, guys.